good afternoon guys it's been a long day we spent over 10 hours in the airport in the plane flight delay got six hours but we are finally touching down in denver still got to get to rental and head to colorado springs so we basically missed the first day of no code but we got two more great days look forward to seeing you there we're gonna continue our journey on thanks So if you see us on the showroom floor, definitely look for us, reach out whether you know us or not, and we can't wait for a great day. Thanks. Hey everybody, we're here at NoCo 2023 Hemp Expo here at the Broadmoor. So we're starting our day, so we're just gonna give uh, you footage of our journey. So this is the start, this is what it looks like. You know, let you uh, check out our room, see how we live in, and now we're gonna uh, keep marching forward. All right, our journey starts today. Let's go guys. Let's go. We're off to see the wizard. Chelsea bringing up the rear. What's the little flashing red light? Tell me, is recording? It's recording. Okay. Make sure the door's set. All right, we're good. All right, we're going to breakfast. Check out the art. All of this gold is real gold. All of this gold. <laughs> she don't like to wear a hold. This is a balcony. Oh, that is a balcony. Yeah. It's a door. So we're leaving breakfast. We're officially starting our first day at NOCO Hemp Expo. We are currently heading to the convention center to check everyone out. We are at the 
are here at the expo. I'm filming. Wow, this place is so huge. Yeah. So we're here on the showroom floor, got a lot of great vendors here, ranging from CBD, vending machines, to Majestic Amanita, Coil Solar, Living Fields, our guys with Bish Enterprises, and then even other products ranging from Hemp Fiber, Hemp Crete, you name it, we have everything and anything hemp, and even above and beyond. Hey guys, we're back again. Got the whole gang. Everybody say hi. Hello everyone. So we're here at NOCO 2023. We're walking the floor. How many taps is it? Turn around. Oh, three taps. One, two, three. Bam. Let's do this. Let's do it. Can I control it? Oh, uh, I'm zooming. Yeah, it's Just, it's oh, did your wrist? Okay. It's locked. The thing is locked. Is it? Oh. Okay, it's locked. I can't do the wrist. Chelsea don't like when I have to record. Wonder bags. Wonder bags. Throw you some good medicine. Live mushroom grow bags. It's dope. The bag is there. Carefully. Not the same thing. Oh, uh,
Alright, here we are at the after party. Uh, first day at NoCo. Let me show you all this amazing view. Ooh, it is really windy outside, but y'all, look at this view.
coming to now, you have a lot more people who are actually been grinding, putting their work in. You know the people who are reliable. The new people have failed to the wayside because they don't understand sustainability or to come together. So here we are, here at NOCO again, and I would like to say I love y'all. And I would like my selfie with everybody at the end. So. <laughs> All right, so to make sure you get that selfie at the end. Um, outside of diversifying them, I think it's important we talk about solutions since we are on the demo stage and solution circle. So when we're talking about diversifying him, I think it's important as entrepreneurs in this space to be able to pivot, meaning sometimes our business model starts one way and we think we might get certain outcomes and in the event that you don't, you should not give up. Instead, you should learn how to pivot. So for me as an independent consultant, there are a lot of things I didn't know when I first started. I was just excited to be here, an advocate, supporting my dad and his vision. And it very um, quickly turned into more than what I thought it would be. I thought I was just gonna be a consultant and maybe do some marketing and do some flyers. But when I went to the Capitol with him, I realized there weren't young people there. There were not people there with innovative ideas or strategic plans. And God placed me in that place at that time to be the person to activate and implement um, certain programs and activating people together versus us just each focusing on our operation, understanding that if we have collaborative partnerships, which is a term that you would put on paperwork to honor your word with your relationships with people. You make sure you get collaborative partnership agreements with people who you really want to grow with. So that's the first tool you can use as an entrepreneur in this space. Make sure you're securing collaborative partnerships before you leave this expo hall. These are some of the brightest and the greatest people in the hip uh, realm in the nation which means we should not just keep coming here high-fiving each other and having a good time. We should be leaving with some form of business to grow ourselves, and you do that starting with a collaborative partnership or goals. Another thing that we need to start exercising, because we know both the hemp and cannabis space needs infusion of cash. The USDA is a, a arm that, yes, there are pros and cons to dealing with the USDA, let's be honest, but if you want to build certain resources, there are farm service agency programs. There are new beginning farmer programs, which are grant programs. And if you register your company in the SAM system, your nonprofit, you can put yourself at a different advantage versus going to a bank and dealing with their requirements that you may not meet and feeling like, I don't deserve to be here because I can't get funded. That's not true. Road again, so I'm just gonna sing it. <laughs> so we're back on the road and headed home great trip everybody like i said earlier we met a lot of great new people great networking great friends looking forward to reaching out to some new contacts and seeing uh, what the future holds but definitely thinking about coming back to denver maybe in the summer at a couple different conferences but we'll keep you posted on that but thanks for joining us on our journey we're still not quite there we'll probably have a few more of these we'll do we just want to want you to see our trip through our eyes